Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Free Create Fridays. I am your host, your creative transformational catalyst, Daniela Langford, and I am here, as always, to show you how simple and easy it can be to incorporate creativity into your life to begin to change the quality of your life. This week, we're going to be continuing with our spring into spring theme, and we're going to be showing you how easy it is to take some of your spare tea sets that you may have hoarding around. If you're anything like me, anytime you go into a thrift store and see a cute set of teacups, you kind of can't help yourself. And now you've got, oh, I don't know, dozens of sets and nothing to do with them. <laughs> so if not, you can very easily pick up a cute little teacup set just like this. They were 75 cents a piece at my local charity thrift store. Very easy to find, very easy. So I'm gonna show you two quick projects, quick and easy, that you can do to spruce up your decor around your house or on your patio for this spring using teacups and some flowers. Let's go ahead and get to our stretching. As always, grab your tea or your wine or whatever you are going to drink with us and let's get to it. Welcome to our stretch time. This week we're going to be focusing a lot of on our legs and our hips and an easy way to do some standing stretching just to get everything moving and flowing, all that energy, all of that chi, all of those juices as always. We're going to start with our forward fold and again if you haven't taken the time to take these few minutes with me and stretch, I encourage you to do so right now. Even if you're watching this video at work, <coughs> maybe go hide in the bathroom. <laughs> but even if you're just watching this at home, sitting in your living room in the afternoon, in the evening, and everyone's, you know, sitting around you, go ahead and stand up and stretch. I know it may feel weird, but your body will thank you. Don't worry about what everybody else is thinking or doing. They are not getting the benefit. You are. So come on up and stretch with me. Just gonna reach to the sky as always. I'm gonna start with a little bit of a back bend. And then do a nice fall forward or a nice flat back. And reach for the floor. You want to keep those legs as straight as you can without locking your knees. And just hang here for a few seconds. Slowly gonna roll her back up. The hair out the way. <laughs> All right, for this, you can either use a countertop or tabletop, or you can grab yourself a nice little low chair. And all we're gonna do, actually, let me see if I can back a little bit more of what I'm doing. So all we're gonna do is we're simply just going to lift and put our heel onto the chair. Now again, you don't wanna hyperextend your legs back because mine do also hyperextend back so that's a consideration but you just simply want to rest your leg on that chair and do a nice forward fold you're gonna feel it all up underneath the side of your leg and if you feel like you'd like to keep one hand under your knee just to brace it so it doesn't accidentally hyperextend you can do that Just gonna flex the foot. Just gonna get all, ooh, all kinds of muscles all, all back here. And this is a wonderful way to get a nice hip and leg stretch in without having to get on the floor. Because I know for some, just gonna roll back up, nice and easy. One foot down. But, <coughs> excuse me, because I know for some people. It could be difficult to get down onto the floor and then back up. So it's great to have these stretches that you can do on an armature or a chair. 
that get you very, very similar results. So again, we're just gonna bend forward and stretch out all of these muscles, calves, backs of your leg. Just go down as far as you can. It's not a contest. Right through your toes. Do a nice back stretch in that way. And then flex your foot. Ooh. That hits it right back there. Just. Shake your legs out. Do a couple little twists here, just to do something with the upper body. Whew. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, everybody, we're gonna grow ahead and grab our materials, grab all of your drink, and we are gonna get started. Okay, here are all of our supplies for these projects. You will need at least two teacups, one for one project and one for the other. <clears throat> Though, of course, you can repeat this as many times as you like. You are also going to need an old candle. Now, this one I've gotten, and it smells great, but it just won't light very well anymore. As you can see, the wick is very down there, and it's very short, and it's hard to actually, even with... Um, uh, fireplace lighter, it's hard to get that to stay lit. So we are going to repurpose this into a cute little teacup candle. You are also, for the other project, going to need a second set of teacup and saucer, a fork, glue, either your E6000 epoxy type, or a nice strong hot glue. And, of course, you're going to need lots and lots of flowers, which can be gotten very, very cheaply from dollar stores and thrift stores all over the place, as well as any other little embellishments that you feel like you want to go on your saucers. And that is as simple as it is. Just a couple of saucers, a candle, a fork, some flowers, and some glue is really, really all you need to do both of these projects. We're also going to be melting the candle out of this container. So you will need a pot with some boiling water so that we can melt the wax and pour it into our new teacup. And I will show you how to do that right now. We are in the kitchen and we have got a pan of hot water here and our candle. Just going to turn the heat up to a nice low medium. Don't need this to boil, just need it to get warm enough to melt the wax. We're gonna sit that in. It's okay if it doesn't reach all the way up because as the well, as the wax melts from the bottom, the stuff from the top will get heavier and rotate itself down and it will also melt. So we're just gonna leave this right here and let it do its thing. All right, while our candle is melting, we are going to work on our second project. This one's gonna be nice and easy. I've already gone ahead, oh, there's a sticker. Go ahead and take all the stickers off. Particularly off the bottom of the teacup because you don't want there to be anything between the teacup and the saucer to inhibit how well your glue sticks. So here is our fork, very cheap also from a thrift store. And you are going to lift it up, ah, very much like that. Get that angle, you can see how it kind of bends. Lift it up even more, like that. Trying to get the most surface amount of your prongs. You may be able to bend that down a little bit. Onto the saucer. Ta-da! And that is how the illusion is going to work. Ah, there we go. There we go. This will be better. Ta-da! And you can even bend this back again. Just keep bending and moving the fork around until you like, there we go, until you like how the illusion would look. 
and then begin to glue your fork down. Now if you use A6000, it will ensure that it never comes apart. However, if you're looking for speed in this project, I would use the hot glue gun. You just want to let that sit and dry. And we will come back when it's all dry. Another thing, we can go ahead and get started on decorating our saucer and our teacup that is going to hold our candle. Because this is drying and our candle is melting. So if we're looking for something to do while those things go on, this is the perfect time for that. So you're probably going to want to glue down the teacup to your saucer. You can push it back so you have more room to decorate in the front. You can do it right in the middle. It really just depends on you. Again, we're gonna come in here with our glue that never separates. Just get a nice coating here on the edge. Just like that. Stick it down. Now since this candle that I have is blue and it doesn't quite match the saucer, I brought in some blue flowers and white as well so that I can start to you know, tie them together. And so at this point, you can just decorate to your heart's content. Once you find an arrangement that you like, you can start gluing those in and then this will be ready when you are ready to put the candle in, which I will show you as soon as it's melted. Here we are, now our candle is completely melted. That took about maybe 20 minutes. And then the next step you wanna do, as you can see, I've just got some nice pearls going on here with my glue. Just using an improv, improvisational little clip jerry rig there just to hold them on. It's gonna look really cute. So now what you wanna do is you either get a dowel or depending on how high the wick is in your candle, get some tweezers and you wanna fish that wick out. Like to get a little wax in the bottom here and stick it down with the wax and just let that set for a minute or two if you can. I kind of anchor it down because the wax underneath is going to make sure that it stands up straight and doesn't wobble on you. And now all you have to do is pour in your wax. And we still have enough to do another one. All you'd have to do is pop this back in your boiler, in your pot of boiling water, non-boiling water, and, uh, and get it to melt all the way again. You may have to get another wick, but if this candle runs out, you can always refill it. So now we're gonna let this gel, and then we're going to finish it off by decorating it with our beautiful flowers, and I will show you how that turns out in the end. For now, while this sets, we are going to move on. Just using an old paintbrush, the back of an old paintbrush to sort of zhuzh out some of these bubbles. Again, sorry, while well, we're gonna let this sit. All right, so this has been sitting for approximately an hour. There is a little wiggle and a little give to it. So it does need a little bit more time to completely set. But we can move on, I think, as long as we, we hold it up. I'm just gonna find a few things here to prop up our items, whatever that may be. So we're gonna set it something, something like that. Coat this really well. See if I can't find something else to prop these up with. Just like that. I know it looks kind of weird, but it's gonna be a perfect angle for us to be able to let everything dry. 
And once it dries, we'll get to embellish it and cover it in flowers and hide this fork so we have the illusion. I'm gonna show you how to do that as soon as this dries, and you'll see that next. Here we are. Our cup and saucer and fork have actually been sitting for 24 hours. We're gonna be really real right here, Phoenixes. I'm gonna show you the rig that I had to make to get this to work. Because don't you just love those cute little BuzzFeed videos where they're like, oh yeah, just do a little bit of nothing. Look at that rig. Look at that. They're like, oh yeah, just glue it together and it'll just stick together and five seconds later, you'll be good to go. Not so much. We're keeping the realness here, Phoenixes. That is the rig that I had to make to get this to finally glue with our E6000. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and glue our glue gun, glue, <laughs> plug our glue gun in so that we can decorate it a little bit faster. I did want to use the E6000, however, particularly on the cup and saucer because this is what is actually gonna be holding weight. So you wanted to have it glued down really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Oh, look at that. Balance. That's okay. If this happens to you, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, you can just, you wanna put your hand really well on that fork and just move, ah, move your fork up. There we go. And there it will balance a little better. And if you need to, Nagle it just that little bit. You always want to make sure that you keep your hand on your glued point though. There. That's better. Look at that. Now it looks a little crooked, but that's okay because we are going to cover this up with all kinds of beautiful flowers. I've got some pearls here. I feel like I'm going in a very French romantic theme, which is not bad. <laughs> um, you could probably definitely put fabric pouring out of here. All kinds of beautiful things. Whatever your imagination takes you. So, now that we've got this, our rig is all ready to go. I'm just gonna wait for our hot glue gun to warm up. And while it does, we'll pick out our flowers. Now we have got a huge selection of flowers here to play with. Again, most of these came from a dollar store. And I just absolutely love them. And you wanna start from the bottom and work your way up so everything layers on top so it looks like it's pouring out. Hot glue gun is ready to go. Let's start decorating. I like to stick some underneath this cap here because it helps the fabric flower hold on to the cap so it won't fall off later on. Time to go check on our candle and close this up. So we will clear down and get ready to finish this off. And see the fork is completely hidden. All right, here we are at the end. We've made it to the end of our project, finally, after we had that little snafu with our fork needing to dry overnight. 
crazy. You never know what's gonna happen sometimes when you go and you see these projects online and you're like, oh, that would be super cute to make. And they're just some fun pitfalls that you can run into. And we're always trying to endeavor to be real here. So I had to show you that jerry rig. And here it is at the end. Look how beautiful that is. Very, very springtime romantic. I absolutely adore it. Cannot wait to see what you come up with. Because it really just depends on what flowers you have sitting around too. So you could do this for any season, just as long as you find a saucer and a cup that goes along with it. The flowers are very easy to find. The glue is easy to find. I absolutely love the project. So let me grab, there it is. Ah. Ha! Candle! Look how beautiful that turned out. We got to repurpose an old candle that we couldn't actually light anymore because we couldn't get to the wick. So now we can get to the wick. Ta da! Fully functional. Absolutely love it. I cannot wait to use this next to the tub. This would be perfect for uh, your private personal space, your zen space, anything like that. And you can embellish it however you want. And all you have to do is get an old candle that you can't use anymore, pull the wax out of it, get a cute little teacup set, bada boom, bada bing, cute little candle. So I cannot wait to see your projects as you post them online. I'm loving seeing them. I'm loving the interaction. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I absolutely adore it. So thank you so much again for hanging out with me on this free Create Friday as I showed you how to repurpose two teacups if you are like me and actually have two sets of random things sitting around <laughs> or if you just wanted to go and repurpose one from the thrift store. How easy and simple it can be to repurpose teacups for some beautiful spring decor. Thank you so much. This has been Daniela of RedesignYourLifeForever.com and I will see you next time.